what's up youtube welcome back to the channel it's your girl emma if you're a new subscriber to my channel you're very welcome if you're a returning subscriber you're also welcome and i want to apologize for going in my a for maybe a few weeks but i'm back i've been busy up and down but i'm back today's video we're going to do the part three of my story time about my visit to lebanon to work as a domestic worker if you haven't watched part one and part two of these videos the link is just right here make sure you click watch comment like share and subscribe to the channel and let's do this so starting to where i left off uh if you have watched part two we left uh, the apartment where we slept we spent the night with my bosses and uh, the other young lady we were working with so uh at this at this uh, moment i'm not aware of where we're going since i thought that the old man and the old woman who we were with were my employers but now so i was wondering where well where, where, where uh what where were they taking me so we travel and travel along you know lebanon is such a small country and especially beirut is very is near it's like an island i think we are traveling and i think i was thinking like we are going for like for a 20 minutes ride but we go one hour i think it was a, like a two hour drive so we are like leaving the city now start seeing the suburbs areas of those places just hills not a lot of building not a lot of buildings so um, uh, obviously the jizazia we're going like like we shall go out out up country of the of those places so we go it's a it's very hilly actually they they like the roads they're going it's like winding up hills yeah so finally we arrive ah no before we arrive at where we're going we stop at a market so i'm listening to the conversation going between the woman and the the lady which which is the the maid to the old woman so they're like uh, saying we have reached the market what don't we have i think that's what what, what was going on we get out of the car and uh, they shop they come back with potatoes tomatoes generally vegetables or groceries then we go on not a, a very far place from where any yani from the market we only took like 30 minutes then we arrived to this humongous uh, i don't even know what to call it it's not even a mansion it's like a hacienda <laughs> You know those those so popular as it called on the Zenito Haciendas things like that and the 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 surprising thing is that, that that place is very clean and the the like tarmac road ends up at your gate so we arrive at this big house big gate and you're just there seeing with your mouth and then the woman says I ah no we enter the gate and then he say she says we are light and uh, I'm told to take my bag and like to us to us a, a skew nearby now in the same compound so I'm like oh now this is my this is like the house it hasn't registered to me that these are not the employers so I'm still thinking they're my employers so I'm like what now I'll be working in this huge house how will I be washing the house now Nini flashing back to to the events of the morning how we cleaned the apartment now i'm wondering we will will we be cleaning this house the same way we did with the apartment because i'm gonna die now i, I started with being anxious so we go uh the the old woman and the man they walk up the house upstairs to the house like the the main door is upstairs so they go and then we we are told to carry the luggages the groceries up to the to the main house so we carry the uh oh, i'm eating my words <laughs> we carry the groceries now upon entering the the home wow you know did you come on have you ever seen uh in those expos the the arabic furniture design those kind of seats and the floor was clean it's like you can even see us it's like a mirror it's like you're walking on a mirror the way it's clean the house just smells clean and i'm like what it's 
sasa kama naweza kumarisha hiyo nyumba hivi <laughs> so we go to the kitchen every you would think even nobody lives in that place because of how clean it is the kitchen everything is white the cabinets are white the countertops flawless hakuna hata ka line flawless the cooker hata sasa ungefikiria na kia kwa actually so i start now having having a what not anxiety ile sasa i feel like i'm not going to meet the expectation so i start uh, having like being scared i don't know call it what you call it so we go no resting actually <laughs> uh upon alighting we wash the groceries then the 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 young lady now the ethiopian girl tells me oh well, we go to the sq we check oh sija kwambia remember my my clothes they were sorted out yeah some of them were thrown out i was only i was only having i think two two t-shirts and two pants so she's told uh, in arabic i think the clothes i'm wearing they're not decent so we go to the sq and she asks me to change she gives me this humongous t-shirt <laughs> you know those clothes like wanavanga nguo almost the same with hindis they 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 need the long tops the hindi tops with the baggy is on my baggy pants as our hindi and then when i come out and i'm told to shower actually and then when i come out the woman's like yeah no you look beautiful I'm like what i look like i'm wearing a piece i look like aladdin actually <laughs> i look like that so we go and uh, we start ironing clothes blah blah, blah and then just small small activities then we set dinner the dinner table apparently they eat outside almost like all dinner so we set the table outside we start cooking making salads me i'm just following instructions but i'm also confused at the same time ah it's uh it arrives at now it's almost 8 in the pm in the pm yeah 8 pm we hear a hooting car so and then the the old woman says to the to the ethiopian girl yalla 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 means hurry up hurry up so she she storms out of the door and goes now i'm thinking they're just neighbors or people who are visiting just going by and then the old woman comes to the kitchen and tells me your madam your madam like what my madam what do you mean i i don't do the madam like, go go follow follow the follow the 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 girl i'm confused so i walk just lazily <laughs> down the stairs and now we meet with toiba toiba is the name of the elephant girl we we meet with her carrying suitcases i'm wondering eh koni nani ametembea So when I pass Toiba I see this woman but now she's facing on the other I mean she's facing the other side so I can only see the the back and then she turns around ooh, ooh. You know when you first see someone and you know you feel in your heart you hate her I you feel like she's the devil herself No offense the woman is pretty but her eyes They are the most scariest eyes I've ever seen. They are green and they are big. <laughs> they were green and big. And she had like this tan face and you could just read like her energy. It's negative. So me when to me one and me feel and then I remember I was told of my madam so I'm like Lord help me if she's the one. And she meets now our eyes meet and she looks at me. She doesn't even smile. She says, "Take the bags." I'm like, "Wow, okay." So I take the bag and she had two two boys with her but now she had a little baby who was in the car in the car seat but I had I had not seen him. So I walk up the stairs the suitcases and she starts yelling my name. Kumbe she is, she even knows my name. I think she's the one who chose me. She's like, "Emma, come." She gives me the baby. I don't even know the baby. Like we don't even know each other. How So I take the baby and he starts screaming and yelling. And I'm afraid and I'm like mbona unaitia mtoto analia. So we walk up the stairs and like I'm trying to hold this baby close to my knee but I don't know him, he does not know me. A lot of confusion going on. So I go to the house and then the grandma apparently now this is the the old woman is the grandma to this baby I'm holding. 
It's like, Abu, say, what is wrong? <laughs> in, the, in Arabic, hi, hi. And he's, she's calling her like that, him like that. And immediately he sees the grandma. He's like, yeah, you know, she's, he starts smiling and pushing me. Like, let go of me. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> so I take him. Oh, he takes him. And I'm like, oh, So I go, I rush to the kitchen. So I don't, I don't. He doesn't, she doesn't tell me to take the baby back. So I go and hide in the kitchen. The woman now, the woman, the mother of the boys comes up to me in the kitchen. Now I'm trying to act busy. So I, I don't know what I was doing. I think I was cleaning utensils. And she starts interrogating me. Oh, what are you? Your name is Emma, right? I'm like, yeah. Oh, you speak English? Yes. Good English? Yes. How old are you? At that time, I was turning 19. I was like, 19? She's like, you're too young. You're too small, like, for your age. You're too small. I'm also tiny. So she's like, I don't... Are you going to manage my, my, my work? You know, you're supposed to clean for me and do all these things for me and also take care of the baby. I'm like, yeah, I, I can do it. Not just I would have worked stubborn. But already, I just feel, I don't like you, don't like you. So I'm just answering her questions to go by. So she's like, yeah, I'm going to be your madam. By then, my name is Zena. I'm like, yeah, nice to meet you, Zena. She's like, yeah, th those are my sons. That is her son, that is Hussein. And the smaller one, who you are going to be taking care of is Abusi. <laughs> she was, he, he was called Abbas, but they nicknamed him Abusi. So I'm like, okay. I was like, yeah, and you know, we are not gonna live here. We have our own house. We're just staying here until my husband comes. She had a lot to say for our first meeting. <laughs> so I'm like, just listening. Yeah. Eat the dinner, and we clean the, we clear like the table. We do dishes, and then now we are free to eat. So we eat, and the the old grandma actually had a very good heart. So she, there was a show that was. Uh, that was showing on KTN last last year in the afternoons I think on Sunday it was called Judah Akbar now at that time it was showing there in another channel so she used to follow it so we sit down and watch TV I was like oh wow we are we are allowed to watch TV it's a miracle so we watch TV now it's like 9 past yeah it's like 9 going almost to 10 now I'm starting now the, the exhaustion is catching up on me so I'm like feeling sleepy. So the Toiba asks the woman, should we go, do you want tea? I'm like, who drinks tea at this time? Kumbi, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, I don't want it. Ugh. No, it's not the culture, it's, it's the custom. They have to drink, you know, they eat dinner at five when the sun is still up. So by nine, they're kind of feeling hungry, but not for food. So we have to make tea and coffee and serve them snacks so that's what we did now it's 11 so the girl tells me let's go to sleep i'm like oh finally we get to sleep hey hey as i'm walking down the stairs zena say oh wait wait pull back pull up pull up pull up pull up, pull up. now when they were eating dinner zena called me no she cannot hold the baby and eat at the same time you know it cannot work like that so I take the baby. The baby doesn't want to see me. So he starts screaming again. I remember the first day he beat me like here on my neck. Like um, he had four, four, four teeth, the front ones. So he beat me. I was like, ouch. Now, you know me, I don't have patience. So I yelled back at him. And now he started screaming now. Well. So then he's like, no, he, she does not want to hear the baby shouting. She's like, Take the, what do, you, what do you call it? Stroller and stroll him like in the village. Unajoko on street lights, it's safe. So we take the baby and and the milk bottle and we go with Toiba. Toiba is familiar with the baby, they like know each other. So when Toiba holds him, he's quiet. But now because um, I'm going to become like his caretaker, I have to get, he has to get. So he has to get to know me. So regardless of whether he's crying or screaming, I have to hold him. So you go to the village, I stroll him. And these like Arabic boys at that time is when they are playing football. Like there's a, a football like pitch. Yeah? It's not a pitch. Field. 
they're playing in the night and we're strolling the baby along the field and they start yelling they call us maids in arabic yeah. and they i think they know people who are new so they knew i was kind of new in that it's a small village i don't i wasn't concentrating with them because i don't even know whether they were insulting me because they were laughing so i just pushed the baby and we push him like for an hour until he sleeps then we take him back you know those babies who they fall asleep then you, you want to place them on the bed and immediately you like take your hands off and start screaming that's that's what that baby was like that so you take him out to his mom and i'm telling them i'm like he's asleep and he's like she's acting uh what should i do and, and i'm like the baby's asleep yeah she's at she's on her phone I'm like tell her to show you show you where to like come on alicia I'm like what oh. so i take the baby with the stroller to the bedroom Dia kiamka ni shida yako mtaka utakaa hapo mpaka time So I take him we go we place him on the bed carefully thanks god he did not wake up so we, we sneak out of the room and she's like is she is he asleep I'm like yeah yeah he's asleep I like, good now you can go see see you in the morning and make sure you wake up early because the baby wakes up early I'm like wow this is going to be my life Sawa So we go to the to the excuse to sleep <laughs> we sleep sleep has never felt so short like in those places wow we slept at 11 but i felt like i slept like 20 minutes and then the alarm is is it off or on <laughs> the alarm goes on huh? goes up <clears throat> and the girl i think she's a robot she wakes up like like flash like the flash He's like, "Emma, wake up, wake up." I'm trying to lazy around but she wouldn't let me. So we wake up, wash our face, brush our teeth. We go up to the house. She's like, "We have to wash the house very quickly before the baby wakes up." So she takes up the bucket to start mopping. Da 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 da, like lightning. Ni ni ni. Me I'm sweating na hema. I'm like, "How am I going to do this on my own?" And then when we're almost like getting done, we're washing the stairs, we hear the woman yelling, "Zena now." Emma, Emma, she's calling out me loudly. So I go back to the house. Yes, yes. She's like, she doesn't, she doesn't even want to open her eyes. She's like, take the baby. <laughs> so I take the baby. We go, we change the baby's diapers. We give him food, milk. We we bathe him in the morning. Nee, nee, nee. Now it's time to socialize. And then they start showing me how to speak to him in Arabic, like telling him come to me and smiling yeah so generally the first day wasn't that hard so i start warming up to the baby even i'm not very patient with the babies <laughs> though my mom ironically so when the baby like cries a lot i get pissed so the the girl told me she would notice and then she would tell me just you need like cool down a little the baby's going to get used to you I'm like I don't want him to get used to me. <laughs> Because most of the time like when she he would cry a lot, to about be able to calm him down. So I would like escape the the roar for a minute. So eventually Zena wakes up. She's yelling again. She's like she was a yell like she couldn't tell you anything calmly. Na mimi bwana chukia kushautiwa. So we started off on a, on the wrong foot but I was like tolerating her huh? on the beginning in the beginning. So she wakes up, she's yelling, make me breakfast, and she can like order you to do five things at the same time. Make me breakfast. Where is the baby? Is she ch- is he changed? Yeah. Okay. She takes breakfast and then she asks me to unpack her suitcases into and pa- and like arrange the their clothes into the closet. So I do that and there were a lot like a lot of clothes. And then in the evening she asks me to pack them back into the suitcase. I'm like, what is wrong with this woman? Kuna afikiria kuna na zingine. I pack them. She go bande. And then she says, "Oh, you know we are, we are going to my mom's house. We are visiting over there." I'm like, "Do I have a choice?" So, I wear my clothes and we go to visit her mom. It's far. It's like far from the village. It's another village altogether. So we go we spend the night there. So 
I get to meet her her sisters, her mom. Apparently they are not that rich. Like if you ngewa compare ni kama mtu amelelewa not a well off family then a well in a rich family because even the house was not like it was in the process of being constructed but it jamaliziwa so i came to understand her and she was very extravagant you know those people who overspend and wanajifanya like ameona pesa so ina overwhelm like that's how she was acting so she would like go to the mall and buy all these unnecessary things buy new clothes so we got machine daivo we in the mall we in the house i like to lia spending her husband's money yeah we in the mall we in the hotel we never ate home and me i'm bored because sina mtu kuongelesha i'm just with the baby like she i would even wake up in the middle of the night to give the baby milk yeah yeah i want to participate anyway they in raising that that son of his even at some point she she would hear the baby crying and she's like take your son take your son I'm like what so eventually i warm up to her, her sister her sister was called what was her name i don't know whether it's alma something like that like eh yeah, i think something like that she was opposite of zena she was very nice to me and in and she would like help me with the baby because she loved her nephew so we spent like almost a week going back and forth we had her moms we are at the in laws we had her moms now the the bad thing with this woman oh no wait wait wait, wait before i tell you that when we are at her moms since the day she came like i didn't have any no when we went to her mom's she wouldn't even ask me when umekula did you take tea she would just cough orders chukua take the baby i don't know do this do that do that and it will you know you know when you with serve chakula so the sister is the one who would ask me are you hungry you know them they eat like once in a day so me i i told her you know i'm not used to eating once in a day so the sister would like sometime uh, remember me and tell him and tell me eat this eat that but then when we with zena alone ha ningara school mimi sita kunywa chai na ajui hata aniulize so we stay at her mom's like three days she didn't tell me to carry my clothes now i cannot even take a shower and then she start talking about me to the sister that i'm that in anuka so it <laughs> and the sister tells her na simwambia okay so she calls me and I'm like Emma uh, have you bathed I'm like no She's like why I don't have clothes I'm like why didn't you say so she say I tell her you didn't tell me to pack my clothes she tells me I ah, don't worry at first she was acting really nice but I took her Indiana because she will talk to you one nice sentence and then she will shout at you the whole day So me I'm just trying to be just there just doing my job. So we go she, to a market, yeah, second hand clothes. She buys me like some t-shirts and some sweatpants and some slippers. And then I come back and take a shower. And then she tells me, "You know what? Tomorrow we're going to go back to Adaya. Adaya is the the village where they the in-laws are." She's like, "My husband is coming tomorrow. You're going to meet him." I'm like, "Why should I be excited about that?" <laughs> because she was telling me as if I should sh- jump for joy. She tells me, "So make sure you wash my car." I'm like, "What? Can how many jobs did I apply for? I'm going to wash the car. I'm going to take the ba- take care of the baby. I'm going to wash the house. Do dishes." I'm like, "Okay." So I start washing the car in the morning. Now, remember Miss Jake when you car wash. So, sijui ukiosha gari unafaa kuwasha ukirinse sabuni sikauke. So I apply the soap and it's sunny. <laughs> I applied the soap I applied the soap in a calculia then after I finished applying like the whole car applying soap on the whole car I take the hose pipe now because the soap is already dried the car wasn't getting clean and then she comes out of the house like what are you doing what do you think you're doing look at the car it's dirty it's not even clean you don't do it like that I'm like you could you, like you can tell someone nicely so she she takes the sponge and tells me you do it like this then you rinse on the spot so that the soap doesn't dry and then after you finish you take 
a clean cloth and start wiping the windows. And hurry up, we are late. Hey, I haven't even taken breakfast. Like, I woke up one hour ago so that I could wash this cut. Okay. So I wash it. Almost finishing, the baby starts crying. She tells me, hurry up, you know, Abusi needs to take his milk. Nikolai, when you see mama yake, as in, I'm busy, you can take the milk and just feed your baby. I'm so frustrated at the moment. I hate her. I hate even now the baby <laughs> because of her, his mom. But I finish washing the car. I start feeding him. I give him a bath. And then, Nambiwa. And then Zina starts say, You don't remember she took breakfast already. She's like, No, let's go in the car. I haven't eaten anything. We get in the car. We drive back to Adaya. I'm so hungry, but I don't want to even say. So we reach Adaya. And Nini, immediately we, we reach there, I tell the Ethiopian girl, I'm so hungry. Like, I can't communicate in Arabic, so I tell her, I feel like eating. And she's like, You're hungry? Ah! No, it's not her who told me that. I went, opened the fridge, the audacity. <laughs> And open the fridge and start checking whether there are some leftover food. And the old woman, now the Shosho comes and she says, Ain't it Joanne? Like, are you hungry? Because now she can, I can read the gestures. She's like, Ain't it Joanne? I'm like, mm hmm. And then they start laughing with the toy bar and saying, Zena's name. She's like, Yo, madam, nothing, nothing eat. I'm like, mm -mm. Kumbe, they know her, they know like her nature. Nobody likes her actually. So she's like, okay. So she, she she's a very nice woman. So she goes and fixes me some leftover potatoes and some bread. The bread that like they eat and some, I don't know. I don't even remember. It was like sauce. We dip the bread and eat the sauce. So I eat very hungrily. I'm hungry. So I eat, I finish. Uh, and now I'm good. And then we continue with the yelling with Zaina and the baby. All that. Uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> so uh it reaches five she takes the baby and the boys but she leaves me behind i'm like oh at last i'm free so she draws off and now the old man tells me oh your side is coming i'm like whatever so i'm trying to smell legs <laughs> in fact i have to fix my <laughs> so they are gone like for three hours and we are free like we're just watching TV and ironing clothes. Are uh, like after some few hours, we hear hooting, a hooting car. Obviously, I need to use them, so my stomach dropped. I'm like, wow, well, here we go again. So they come up. Now the Zena starts yelling my name, so I should go down the stairs. guy. So I go. I have to like carry all the suitcases up the stairs on my own, but Toiba helped me. So I meet the husband and he's, he looked scary, but not like the wife. So he was just like, they have to shout. So she's shout, he's shouting, what's your name? I'm like, Emma, and he's like, how old are you? Like, he's shouting, <laughs> he's literally shouting. So we go and he starts saying, have you taught her to make shisha? And was like, no, 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 I'll just make it. So we take some, like, the shisha bottle, and we go and wash it. Apparently, he's a shisha addict. He can't stay without it. So immediately he arrives, you have to make it. So he, I'm shown how to, like, put the shisha thing in the, in the, that head, and to cover it with aluminum, and how to put charcoal on it, and to prick it, all that process. So we make him, for him shisha, we make a dinner, we eat, and the... The events of the previous night follow each other like that. We sleep. So, Zena tells me the next morning, today we are going to our house. So you, you get to see the house you'll be cleaning and where we'll be living. So, the, the house of the mother in is huge, but not that huge. Huh? So, Zena takes me the babies and the car. Pass to this, uh, to the house. It's a house I've been seeing like every day, but I didn't know it was the house. So it was a very huge house. Now, huger than the mother-in-law's house. Now this one looked like the white house. You know, like the main door looked like a gate. Like it had that that heavy thing that you you like. Because 
uweze ukanao kivi mtu atakayo kwa nyumba hizi kusikia it's it's a very huge house the staircase is like entrance ya kanisa it's a very huge so I'm like wow wow I'm washing this whole house on my own eh hey, okay and look after the baby at the same time oh hapana sasa kaza kuna kazi ni slavery when you watu wanasimaga actually at that moment i started really regretting why i even went there so we go into the house it was a new house so construction was still going on there was cement on the floor like the dust from from the construction was still there the kitchen with the wood was still dusty and stuff so she start she start saying and from tomorrow you start cleaning the upstairs because we are going to move in tomorrow night i'm like okay i'm just agreeing with her and upstairs there were like how many rooms there were like six bedrooms downstairs were three bedrooms four bathrooms a kitchen a reception area and uh like two sitting rooms but they got different actually <laughs> and the balconies killer room iko na balcony balcony ya sitting room kwa one end you can't see the other end you see like those buildings nanganga temples they had and they have like these huge pillars that house corridors like balconies like zipo na hizo pillars it's like I, i can't tell you in words how huge that house looked <laughs> it's ridiculous that you think a small human being like me <laughs> on her own alikuwa fasting in nyumba peke yake iko na glass doors everywhere glass windows i don't know what i know so yeah we go and see the house and tomorrow the next day we go and wash some few rooms with toy but one room would take us like an hour to clean because you have to wash the room wash the bathroom and you're washing like everything the walls the 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 like window doors of the bathroom the windows of the bathroom the windows to the corridor the doors to the corridor you're wiping everything so we manage only to wash the children's room and her bedroom that's a whole day and uh, the next day we go we will wash the other two bedrooms and the staircase so we cleaned like the house for a whole week like cleaning it properly for a whole week so we are in the process of moving in at that time like now i was shown my nini to my room i had a room downstairs but i never slept in it because i was forced to sleep in the in the children's bedroom so that i look after the small baby imagine kwa shinda na mtoto na bado usiku ndashinda ndalala na ye so during that whole process ya ku move in kwa zena i disliked everyone in his fam in her family her the kids the husband because they were always yelling at me Nobody even checked up, checked on on me in oh, checked up on me <laughs> like whether I eat. Actually we would serve dinner, they would eat the whole, all the food. She wouldn't even ask me, did you eat? Have you eaten? Did you take breakfast? Nothing. So most of the time I would eat at the old old uh, woman's house. Hi. So, we moving. I'm just like a zombie at this point. I'll, but at that time one ilikuwa called prayer food. Unajua mtu anakuanga close you you become close with your god it's the human nature when you're like in a lot of trouble so that time i felt like i needed god to do this i was like asking god if you i asked you if this job would go wrong for me i'm going to say asiache niende so i was asking myself why am i even here like why is god allowing me to be with this evil woman because i could only see evil in her eyes and then she It came to a point where she would just talk to me. I would do what she says, but I would never talk to her. So we lived like that. Now fast forward. Uh we stayed with Zena for like three months and they had to go back to they were living in uh, what is it called? Guinea Conakry. They were they were doing business there. So that's where they did live and now they would come to Lebanon during the long holidays. That's what it was the three months we stayed with them. So she was like when she was leaving I was so happy. <laughs> she she didn't have any idea. But she was talking to me as if I was supposed to grief she was going. She was like, "Oh, now we are going with the babies. I can't take you with me, but when you come back, you will be my my house help." 
still has like god forbid by the time we come back i wouldn't be here <laughs> so zena left i was free of her i even started glowing actually <laughs> so if you want we will stop this story here but if you want to find out whether i was shipped back to my country or i stayed back in lebanon with zena make sure to watch my next episode on this channel right here same place same time and hope to see you soon if you have watched the video this far you are a true fan and thank you so much make sure to give this video some likes some thumbs up yeah and leave a comment and see you next time bye, -bye.